As an educator, my favorite quotation has been, the right teacher is not the one with all the right answers, but a good teacher is the one with all the right questions. Questioning is an art, and that art can make almost anyone think. Now here are nine such productivity questions that will make you think. Hey folks, I am CSK and I am an educator. In today's video, I am going to just ask you 9 questions. Now do me a favor, while I complete every question, pause this video and answer them. Do not leave it for tomorrow to answer because we know that that tomorrow will never come. Ok, now that that's out of the way, let's get straight to questioning. Before I get started with the 9 questions, let me once again reiterate the importance and significance of questioning. Right from the time immemorial, people have been questioning and those who took that less traveled road of asking questions have always been duly rewarded. Now, talk about Isaac Newton. If he would have sat down that apple tree without asking a question, the rest as we know would not have been history. Almost everything, anything worthwhile has always accomplished by questioning. Take of our own life, daily scenarios. The minute you reframe the whole goal with a question, how can I achieve this? How can I buy that? How can I own a house? How can I own my dream car? How can I score that marks? Or how can I impress or convince or persuade someone? The minute you start reframing them as questions, that means the statements get reframed as questions, your mind starts to think. That's the beauty of questioning. With that as a prelude to this particular video, I'm going to shoot with to you these nine questions. Now get ready and as we have promised, we will start answering them one by one. Question number one coming your way is what could you avoid to improve your productivity? Yes, the question here is simple. What is that thing which you can avoid to improve your productivity? Now it can be anything. It can be laziness, it can be pro procrastination, it can be blaming somebody, it can be criticizing, it may be giving up so quickly, whatever it is. But what is that thing which you can avoid so that you can become more productive? Take your time, answer them. Question number two, what is worse, failing or never trying? This one is easy, but you got to get it right from your consciousness. Which one is worse? Failing or never trying? Now, there are two ways to look at it. Sometimes, which is not in your core competence, you can might as well pass and say it's not worth trying. For example, in my case, singing and making a name for myself through singing is something which I would never ever try to give it a shot. It's not in my core competence. So for me, in that context, never trying is the best thing to do. But when it comes to stock investing, when it comes to wealth maximization, for me, even though I might not succeed 10 on 10, but it is worth failing because every single time I fail, I learn something valuable so that I don't have to repeat it next. So what is worse for you, failing or never trying? Question number three, when it's all said and done, will you have said more 
than you have done. This one is quite tricky, but listen to this carefully. When it is all said and done, will you have said more than you have done? This was an interesting question which was asked to me. And ever since, I couldn't stop but think about it. You know, normally, we end up talking too much. We end up saying and analyzing and thinking and trying to express those thoughts a little too much. But in the end, what does matter? What matters is the actions you take. All of us know that we need to eat healthy. All of us know we need to get some exercise on a daily basis and stay away from the sedentary lifestyle. But when it is said and done, would you have said more than you would have done? We end up gossiping with people. We end up chit-chatting, saying, you know what? I did not get my step count today. I did not eat right. I will just have this one gulab jamun and then tomorrow onwards, back to diet. That is saying more than just doing. So think about it. I just gave you an example when it comes to health because that's common to you and me and many other people. But the point here is, in every aspect of your life, are you saying more than you are actually doing? Question number four. If not now, then when? If not now, then when? It's a very simple question, but this makes you think. Go back one year, go back five years. You would have said something then, but you did not do anything about it. And maybe, maybe some of those things you have already lost as an opportunity. So the question here is, if not now, then when? So answer that. What are those things in your life that you are pushing away, putting away? Bring them closer. Spend some time on them and put them down. I'm sure it will help you increase your productivity. Any aspect of your life. Next question. So far, what has been the primary focus of your recent life? This is a very important question which will filter down a lot of your distractions. So far, what has been the primary focus of your life? Of your recent life? Why this question is important is, when we sit to plan, when we are in an idealistic frame of mind, we end up saying this not to be done and that is the thing which I'm going to focus upon. This is good for my business. This is good for my life. This is good for my growth. But then, when you go back to your day-to-day -day activities, 9 out of 10 times, unplanned activities, untimely activities fill up our days. That's the recent focus then, right? Now, if you keep focusing on those unplanned and untimed activities, where do you have the time to focus on the things which you really need? So this question will help you filter down your distractions. Next question. What do you do when you feel like giving up? Now, this is a question which is interesting because this has N number of answers, unique answers for each one of us because each one of us are unique. What do you do when you feel like giving up? Again, it can be any of those options from blaming each other or just procrastinating or just not focusing on that or just resigning to fate or just saying that I'm not good enough, getting into depression or getting into a high-headedness. Many options. What do you do when you feel like giving up? You will say that, okay, nobody's watching. It's okay to give up. Or will you say that I can't sleep well if I give up on this and I'm going to hang on to it and make sure that I complete it? What do you do? This is a question which will give you the true test of your character. And remember, productivity comes from your character. Next question. What are you one step closer to today than you were yesterday? What are you one step closer to today than you were yesterday. You want to learn that new skill? Are you able to be better than your yesterday? You want to lose that one pound? Are you able to 
get closer to losing that pound than yesterday? You want to make a difference to someone's life. Are you able to be closer to making a difference than your yesterday? That's the question which this will answer. Next question. What people and activities energize you? Each one of us. Remember this? Five fingers are not alike. Each one of us have our own set of do's and don'ts. There are a set of activities that will kind of rejuvenate us and energize us. And there are a set of activities that drains us. For example, cold shower for me rejuvenates me. Or listening to somebody complaining and nasty issues drains me out. So what are those activities that energize you? Who are those people that energize you? Friends, family, loved ones, your kids, whoever it is. List them down because they are your go-to people to improve your productivity. Because remember, they energize you. So for a friend of mine, I remember, a friend of mine very, very uh, candidly shared that shopping energizes her. Now, if that is your way of energizing your spirits, so be it. Just go, take a stroll in the mall. It will help you. And then get back to being productive best. Being your productive best. Last question. What are you glad you quit? What are you glad that you quit? Now this is a very interesting question. Because there are only certain things which you need to be involved with. For rest everything, quitting is the answer. Now what are you glad that you quit? So that question will help you become more productive. Because there is no point in being jack of all trades. The only focus should be being master of few. Not master of one, but a master of few. So what are you glad that you quit? These nine questions, I promise you, will boost up your productivity. And if you have done what you said at the beginning of this video, that pausing after every question and answering them, there you have your productivity toolkit. The answers will help you become 10 times more productive than what you were yesterday. Signing off, CSK, thank you very much for joining me on this particular video on your channel, CSK Speaks.